Well, it's knockout time. It is still, of course, just a game of football, but it is a different game of football in terms of its mood. I don't think that you could get away with telling any of these players, let alone the crowd assembled here, that this is anything like what went before. As far as winning the competition is concerned, every game from this point on is win or bust. It is knockout football time. No question that this is one of the great capital venues of the Netherlands, the Johan Cruyff Arena, Amsterdam. The crowd rises for the national anthem of Germany. got the juices flowing and now this Well, there's a perceptible change in mindset here, both in terms of crowd and players. Well, Peter, knockout competitions require knockout mindsets. There has to be a more dynamic edge to the whole approach, whether from going ahead or replying to going behind. This is when the adventure kicks in, and you have to be mentally prepared for a more intense pressure. So we're up and running. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, Harry Kane. He's a deadly finisher, Peter, obviously, but he can contribute much more than that for his team. He's got the physical presence to hold the ball up and the awareness to bring pretty much everyone else into play. His best attributes, however, might be his, his enthusiasm, his energy and his desire to win because those things become infectious to others. Yeah, the easiest way to make a difference is to score, so no argument there. Maguire. Chilwell. Maguire drives it forward. Chilwell needed to come up with a better ball. Ah, oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. Brandt knocks it away. Sancho displaying his defensive capabilities there. That's no striker's tackle. You have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing. But instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to, uh, to dig in for his team here. And it's Barkley. Henderson is fouled. It's Barkley, and it's Chilwell. 
Rice. He's had the... He's had a shot! Kimmich plays it forward. And it's played forward. And they're not going to make any further progress now. Kimmich. And here's Canabri. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Well positioned to make that interception. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Look, he's offering an apology to his teammate, who's clearly miffed at not being picked out despite making what looked like the right run. All needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Germany are playing with a pleasing width here, especially that front line. Is it working for you? Uh, it's not movement for the sake of it, and um, yes, it is working for me. There's a purpose to, to create space. Kane. Sancho. Rudiger gets it back. Rudiger. And they've reached half time. They both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Yeah, the scoreline doesn't tell the whole story as one side has been significantly better, at least offensively. So they head in no further forward. The score here still 0 0. So off we go once more. England can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Brandt. Rudiger. Brandt. Rudiger. Tony Kroos. Ginter. Has gone out. Alexander Arnold. Still absolutely nothing to report here, goals-wise. Rudiger tries to get it forward quickly. Hoists it forward. Barkley goes looking. Ginter. And here's Canabri. Chilwell cuts it out. Jordan Henderson. Forward it goes. Ginter does well there. Alert. Brandt. Brandt plays it forward. Brandt. Very few chances to talk of, Jim. Defence is, it seems, on top here. Well, I think it's a, a fair reflection of what we've seen so far. Neither side has produced that many efforts at goal simply because respective defences have been strong. Sort of side that time. Germany are making a change now. Two changes being made right now. Pickford gets it upfield. And the through ball is intercepted. 
Rudiger goes looking. Dashing forward at pace. Germany merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. It'll be a throw in. Germany making another change here. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Gnabry. Rapidly approaching the end. Extra time is imminent. Unless something dramatic happens now. Now it's Kane. He's left his man. Rudiger battles to win it back. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Keeper sends it forward. 90 minutes up, and we will be back for extra time. Yeah, neither side has anything to show for some splendid effort, and they certainly aren't showing any signs of easing off, so we remain optimistic. Well, fitness and fatigue, the key factors now as we head for extra time. So our quest to find the winner continues. Rice drives it forward. Gundogan tries to get it forward quickly. And now they can launch a counter. Hoists it forward. That's offside. Yes, it is. Well weighted. Now it's Sterling. And it's Sterling. Plays it out to the flank. Dinks one in. Oh, that's clever. Goes for goal! A real chance and a real let off. Well, he did get himself into a good position. Something for him to cling to. England can make their change now with uh, a break in play. For that, given what a lottery penalties can be, the players are evidently tired, and it may come to that. Is there to be drama in these final 15 minutes? Nil nil still. Play to win or play for penalties.
Breaks on here. Kane. Madison. Has a pop! Good movement there, but not the best of finishes. No, that was a slick move, and there were several options in the box to, uh, to pick out. Kimmich could move up a gear here. Decent looking ball. How about a shot? Gnabry. That'll be a corner. Gundawan plays it short. Henderson and here's Kane into positions himself well and cuts it out and that is it there will be penalties yeah, maybe most were not expecting this to go the distance Peter but they can't complain about the graft and energy on show I think the scoreline wasn't from the want of trying and, and now it's lottery time well, the players look exhausted but one last act and we're back in a moment for penalties Boy, you can feel the tension. Sterling will go first. And he's found the net. Oh, that was a great strike. He just gave the keeper absolutely no chance. Brandt is next up. Cooley done. What each? He just did what he was asked. Madison is second man up. No, it's been saved. He's so focused there. Fantastic save. Gnabry will take their second. Keepers read that beautifully. Oh, that's a super save from the keeper. And stepping up, the skipper. Oh, what a save! I think the keeper's done really well to save that. He deserves a pat on the back from his teammates. The third man in the queue. I thought he did really well to hold his nerve then and score that penalty. England trailing by one. Well, it's never easy to step up and take a penalty, but he slotted that home with authority. He steps up to take the fourth penalty. Well, he strolled up and struck that with great confidence. That's a superb spot kick. England must score to keep their hopes alive. England out at the first hurdle, hugely disappointing to fall so soon. To summarise what we've seen today then, Jim. And a premature exit from their viewpoint, though there are positives to be taken. It's both sad and, and satisfying.